Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, a user asked how to slice a cylinder into three parts. I've got a technique. Let me show you how. Start, of course, by hitting Create New 3D Design. I'm going to start by naming it. I'm going to call this Pi. I'm not exactly sure what the user's creating. I do know they want it bigger than this work plane, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing we're going to do is search, and we're going to search for cylinders. So I'm going to type CYL, and we want this cool one here called a sliced cylinder. When you bring it out, it has a base and a max radius, and it has a height, and it has the arc we want. Now, the user said three slices. There are 360 degrees in a circle, so I know 120 is the number we want to type to split it in three. Now, the largest number we can type is 100 by 100, and I'm going to tell you to type the numbers. Don't stretch this. If you stretch the handles, it'll break the parameters. I'm going to change the height to 2 and press enter. So friends, that is a perfect 120 degree slice, but the user wanted to be larger than this base radius. I don't know the number they did want, but I am going to use a radius of 155 or a 310 diameter circle. So real quickly, let me show you what that would look like. If we bring out a cylinder, I'm going to change the sides to 64 so it's smooth. Right now it's 20, so I'm going to shift stretch. And then I'm going to simply type 310 for how large that would be. Now I don't want that height to be that big. I'm going to make it 1. So now it fits kind of back in the world. I'm going to set over there. And then just for fun, I'm going to make it a custom color because I find them entertaining. All right, so we need to make this pie piece fit this large cylinder. Friends, here's how we're going to do it. If our diameter of 310 is the number we really wanted, the radius of that would be 155. Because, of course, radius is halfway across the circle. Well, remember, this has a radius of 100, so we are going to do a tiny bit of math. Check this out. Friends, if we click on this shape, we can see that it's 100 by 150 for this side. So we're going to create a duplicate and we're going to scale it with a proportion. I'm going to do control D and friends, we know that the radius is 100 and the new one needs to be 155. So all we need to find is the correct number for this one. It works like this. The proportion will be 100 over 150, which are these dimensions and they're the same as 155, which is the radius of this piece and X. Friends, I'm going to bust out the calculator to solve this. That means that we need to do 155 times 150 and then take that result and simply divide by 100, which was the original radius. That means this side right here is supposed to be 232.5. Friends, I'm going to minimize that and let me show you how we make this work. It was 150. We are going to hold down shift, stretch it to Crazyville, and then if we type 232.5, it'll scale to the exact measurement we wanted. There is our radius of 155 for a diameter of 310. I'm going to delete this one and let me show you how to assemble our cool little circle. I'm going to start by bringing the circle close to the bed. I'm going to grab the two. Let's choose L for a line, and we want it to come to this edge and this edge. And bingo, you can see that fits perfect. Let's take this one here and do Control D. And remember the 120 degrees? Let's put it to work. I'm going to rotate to whatever number I want. When I can see this number, I'm going to type negative 120 and press Enter. I'm going to change the color just for fun so that it's easier to see. Let's hide the green one and watch this. We're going to move over here. Let's do F for fit view. Look at it from a side. We want the work plane, which is the letter W, and we want to put it right there. Now when we hit D for drop, it is in the exact right spot. Friends, we can now zoom in and line this up by just using the arrow keys along that work plane. Bingo! Two slices complete. 
you can zoom in and get that as perfect as you want but as you can see that was pretty darn easy friends let's get that last slice in place once again w for work plane and i'm going to put the work plane back to the normal spot click on the pink one and do control d zoom out so i can see this rotation and i'm going to rotate it 120 degrees again once again look out here for the number and then click in the box and actually type negative 120 once again to line it up we simply move over to this edge right here there is my w for work plane and d for drop and then let's put the work plane back down on the ground and i'm going to shift nudge to get it out where it belongs how cool is that of course just for fun let's pick another awesome color zoom in and make sure i've got them close i do need to go a couple of clicks from this angle it is pretty easy to see when you hit it perfect now friends i do want to remind you this user wanted to know how to slice this into three pieces i've got that for you i do not know how large their printer is and i do not know the real numbers that they were using but now you know the technique for how to get a proportion and find the radius for the different slices you want i will show you this as well friends don't forget if you needed a different size slice bingo you can change those instantly bingo it scales instantly and check it out it still has the right proportions and of course if you ever make a mistake like i don't want that i can do Control z and bring it right back Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day